is there something you should be doing differently? And uh, I'm going to tell you what I did in my career, real brief. In 1983, I was a firefighter EMT. I was in terrific physical condition, which I'm not now. I was happy. I dated a lot. I enjoyed activities with my other public service buddies, mostly firefighters, medics, and cops. On uh, a shift exchange day, I worked with a firefighter I knew but had never worked with before. Uh, he was almost exactly 15 years older than me. Uh, he was almost age 42. I was almost age uh, 27. We had a series of alarms. We were up all night. And when our duty shift ended, we went to uh, breakfast together in the morning. It was a, a small but busy cafe that neither of us had been to before. As we talked that morning, I realized that if I kept doing exactly what I was doing, in 15 years, I would be this guy. We had a lot in common. Uh, breakfast ended, and he picked up our 41-year-old waitress. They were going to get together on a date. When her shift ended in a few minutes, she had also worked all night. 20 minutes later, I walked into my house, and I stood there just inside the front door, and I was stunned. Uh, I realized if I continued my life exactly as I was living, in 15 years, I'd walk in this same door, stand in this same living room, uh, though possibly I'd be bringing with me a 41-year-old waitress I'd just met. I'd be this other guy. And I decided right then and there, I wanted a different future. Now, the next month, just a couple weeks later, uh, I just happened to have my birthday off. And I sat on my couch with uh, pens, paper, clipboard, and resolve. I was going to decide what I was going to do with my life so that I would have a chance in 15 years to have a different life. By the end of the day, I had written a summary I'd put on a three by five card. That card stayed with me in my pocket or my wallet for more than 20 years. Actually, the cards would wear out, but I'd just make another one. And what I had written on that card was AA BS JD book. That's all. AA BS JD book. I was going to earn my AA degree, and I was going to have a major in natural sciences and mathematics. I already had some college hours toward this, and I did that over a period of years. had to work full-time, go to school part-time. I earned my Associate of Arts degree with a major in natural sciences and mathematics. I had taken the basic physical sciences courses, including... Uh, physics, chemistry, biology, and astronomy, and mathematics and logic courses, including uh, algebra, trigonometry, calculus, statistics, uh, and a math survey course that helped me understand both pure mathematics and applied mathematics, including economics. Although economics, I would learn later, is also part psychology. So, AA, then I was going to earn my BS, Bachelor of Science degree, the major in Human Resources Management. I did that. Uh, in that process, there were a number of business, sociology, psychology courses, social science courses, social psychology. Um, and this was all in contrast to the mainly, you know, the physical science uh, courses I'd taken my first two years of college. Now some HR programs, um, you know, they're paper shuffling courses. Uh, my degree was more tailored to talent evaluation. That helped me a great deal uh, later in my legal career working in employment law for 
firing, hiring, employee evaluation, assessment centers, and so forth. And then I was going to earn a law degree, JD, Juris Doctor, or Doctor of Jurisprudence. Uh, and I did that. And I worked in several different legal arenas, including, of course, employment law, HR. Uh, I had an antitrust appellate law case uh, in the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals. <clears throat> the United States Supreme Court still sometimes cites that as precedent or authority. And I had a 14th Amendment Constitution law case in the United States Supreme Court that I worked on with another lawyer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> getting over cold, winter cold. Now, it used to mean something to be a constitutional lawyer. Now, it seems that anyone with an internet connection feels they know as much constitutional law as someone who actually went to law school and practiced constitutional law. I uh, try not to engage with those people, but they seem to find me. So, AABSJD book. Then I was going to write and sell a book. Uh, I couldn't guarantee that uh, it would be a bestseller, but I decided I'd write one that had a chance to be a bestseller, and I did that. My March 2005 true crime book, true crime is a genre that has a lot of bestsellers, uh, Nightmare in Wichita, The Hunt for the BTK Strangler, published by Penguin, was on the main or extended New York Times bestseller list for nonfiction nonfiction trade paperbacks for nine weeks. That's better than most. Uh, and it was adapted into uh, the CBS Sony made for television movie, The Hunt for the BTK Killer, and I was portrayed in the movie by actor Mari Chaikin. Thus, almost exactly 22 years after I wrote AABSJD book on that 3 by 5 card, I had accomplished my goals. Now, back in 1983, I didn't decide on personal goals like marriage, but I did realize if I became a lawyer, I would meet a different collection of women than I was meeting as a firefighter. Not that there's anything wrong with marrying a waitress, but I married a medical doctor, not a waitress. Back in the 1980s, my wife was regularly on local television news as a doctor. For roughly the uh, first half of our marriage, 40-year uh, marriage, uh, almost 40, um, as a couple, I was known as the doctor's husband, but for the second half, she's been known as the author's wife. Uh, we now live in a retirement community. I have three children, six grandchildren, two great-grandchildren. Everyone is prospering, doing well. My wife and I are having the health troubles of aging, but that's life, and I've had a full life. Now, some people never steer their life. They are tossed around by life storms. They, some end up breaking on the rocks. Others go into safe harbor. Some are lucky, some are not. When, even though it was my career field, when people ask me about the career direction, which is rare, uh, I do recommend deciding on a destination then steering on a critical path towards that. That's what I do with my career. I tell them the story I just told you, AABSJD book. Uh, I'm not saying concretely that you should do what I did, become a, you know, a lawyer and an author, but I am saying it won't hurt you to seriously think about your goals, your particular goals. Uh, what will make you happy? What are you going to do to achieve them? If you are already on that path, fine. If not, what should you do differently? Is there something you should be doing differently?